Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Dope Slaughter 930, back again um, with that update video I just promised you in my last video. Uh, so there's not a ton of new stuff out, but there is a few things. There is two new applications, or not? They're not new applications, but updates to applications that I figured I would um, tell you guys about. Um, so for one, there's a program called 360 Content Manager, and version 2.0 was released. Uh, what the app does, it lets you browse 360 files from your PC by their info and upload the files to your uh, either JTAG or reset glitched uh, console via FTP. If you don't know what FTP is, you pretty much hook up an Ethernet cable from um, your desktop or laptop directly into the back of your console and you can um, send or receive files uh, from the hard drive. You can actually access the hard drive through it. Uh, it says drag and drive, I mean drag and drive, drag and drop files and other applications. It organizes a messy folder. Uh, if you don't, if you don't remember, I actually did talk about this application not too long ago. Um, the only real um, fix is, I guess it says it has a new name, um, an FTP file exists dialog box. Uh, the FTP settings supposedly are simplified. There's a few bug fixes. Bit, oh, excuse me bug fixes as well as it prompts you to enter the FTP IP address when you first um, run if the, the IP address hasn't been entered so that's that um, a pretty big update from C forever uh, speaks his website if you don't know what C forever is it's the guy um, in charge of releasing all of the LTs and things like that there is a huge huge article um, talking about the new dash update and the whole issue with uh, the um, day.bin uh, files. Uh, if you don't know what's going on, uh, supposedly with the new update, um, recently I heard they actually released it. I haven't experienced it because I haven't been playing with up, uh, backup games uh, lately, but supposedly there's a new kind of security check feature and people have been finding little ways around it. I actually have been posting uh, updates on my website. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's dopesnation.tk. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but there's just a ton of info from C for uh, C Forever um, talking about it, and supposedly the LT Plus 3.0. He doesn't really give any details whatsoever on it, but supposedly uh, it says it says that the LT Plus 3.0. Um, all current firmware and future efforts put into the AP 2.5 security by Microsoft is all for nothing. So hopefully we've got something you know good here. We're going from LT Plus, where we at now? I believe 2.0 all the way up to 3.0. So it's not a minor release. Whenever it is dropped, it should be a major release. Um, another software uh, called XISO GUI version 1.0.0.7 was released. Um, it's not a new application. I actually think I talked about it in another one of my videos as well. But this one has a couple new and fixed features. Um, it says update xiso.exe. It now supports XGT3s, um, simplification of the interface, double click on an ISO from the list to view the files it contains, a single click on an item that already was treated returns to the right place in the extraction log. Um, there's just a bunch of little features here and there, so I'll put a link. All this stuff, I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Um, there's a couple things I don't have here, but I did come across them the last couple of days. Um, I know that Cool Shrimp, who created the JTAG tool, has created a simple, uh, user-friendly software for programming your Cool Runner. All you have to do is click motherboard. Um, I think that's it. Just click motherboard and either USB or LPT or something like that, and click program, and it'll do the rest of the work for you. Haven't usually uh, haven't used it personally, so I can't tell you how how buggy it is or how buggy it isn't. Um, so I guess you could test it out for yourself. I'll put a link um, to that as well in the description. Um, and also, this is totally random and nothing new. But uh, if you guys haven't heard, I believe about a month, month and a half ago, Freestyle Dash was talking about a new Dash, completely new reamp dashboard called RXE. Um, with connect interface and a whole bunch of different features with cool cover flow, totally customizable. Uh, most of the YouTube videos related to it are taken down off YouTube. There was one I found. I could put a link for that as well if you'd like. Um, but uh, Freestyle's actual website was taken off the line, so I don't know whether Microsoft is prosecuting them or what the deal is with that. So hopefully they'll actually end up releasing it because 
since the initial launch of their video, there hasn't been any any big updates or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they do somehow. Even if their website is down, hopefully they're still working on it and it does get released. Because, like I said, if I can find the link to the video and you check it out, it looks pretty badass. It's totally reamped, completely new user interface, tons of features and stuff like that. But, um, and yeah, I think that's about it, guys. So. Um, if you're interested in anything I was talking about, as always, links will be in the description so you can read up more on it. And uh, once again, thank you to all my subscribers and my followers. If you do like my videos, please like and su uh, subscribe to support me. Um, and feedback is always, you know, welcome. I love to hear from you guys. So, all right, well, this is Dope Star Nine Thirty, and I am out. Thanks for watching my.